on the Couch by Dave Jackson. In this episode, Andrew, the junior minister for Brexit, is raging about his workload and the government's decision to pursue a hard Brexit. Let's take a trip to Harley Street and dip into his session to hear him working through his anger management with London's foremost psychotherapist, Stuart Loveridge. I've never been so busy, Stuart. Oh, God. I should be back there now. It's like a sinking ship over there. And if I don't get back and plug the breach with my dick, the whole place will go under. Remember, this is your time. Oh, I don't have my own time anymore, Stuart. Now that the PM has decided to call an election, they want me to go back to my constituency and campaign. I mean, I may as well stick a broom up my ass and sweep up at the office. If you... Try and calm down and concentrate on the here and now. This is the here and now. Right. It's here, now. I see. That's the bloody problem. Mm. It's easy for you to say calm down. You just sit and nod at nutters for a living. I have to deliver this uber omni supranational shambolicking cock and balls up. I think you might be transferring a little there. (laughs) Sorry. Mm. This isn't doing my anger management any favours. The thing is... None of the civil service want to deliver Brexit. They're all bloody Remainers. It's like ISIS running a kosher deli over there. Yes, you do have a tricky job. Tricky? You choose your words, Stuart. Apart from Rolf Harris's agent, I think I've got the trickiest job in the country. Well, I don't know, actually, because my brother's an eye surgeon and that's... Stuart! Sorry, sorry. I was okay when I thought we were going to get a semi-Brexit. Okay. But this is a raging hard-on Brexit. I mean, Jesus. It's like at school, when we dared little Johnny Featherstone Huff to shit in Matron's right slipper after prep. We never expected him to actually do it. It was just a bit of high jinx. I hear you. Mm. I'll never forget the scream of horror that came up from the sand when Matron discovered that special parcel in her sandal. Poor Matron. She was so kind. Was it a sandal or a croc? Uh, A sandal, I think. Well, that's something, because with a croc, it would have come out of all the holes, you know, and being rubber... Crocs weren't around in my day, Stuart. No, no, of course not quite. Do you know, when Cameron resigned, I thought of Pat. Pat the matron and her shitty foot. Mm walking down the science corridor all bereft. Well, I'm sure if the science corridor was anything like my school, it would have been tiled, so at least... Yes, thank God it wasn't English. That was heavily Heavily carpeted, carpeted, yes, yes. I'm I'm sure. Mm. Sorry, sorry, I may have got confused, but didn't you campaign for leave? Well, yes, yes, but that was just to ingratiate myself with the party members. Right, I see. You know, position myself for when Cameron went off to spend more time with his offshore accounts. Ah, so that decision was more based on your individual development, rather than the uh, national... Uh, National interest, damn Mm. right, yes. Mm. Anyone with two brain cells to rub together knows that Brexit is the worst decision by any politician since Keith Vaz downloaded Grindr. So that's the done thing, is it? What, downloading Grindr? No, 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 as in, you know, pursuing your own... Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, Well, look at Johnson. I'd rather not. I mean, the major problem is, is we've run out of clever people over there. Talk me through that. Well, basically, what we're not allowed to say is that any country that is... Well, in any country, you know, well, you know, there's obviously only a quantitative amount of brainiacs. And this European legislation is labyrinthine. I can only imagine. Yeah, so there isn't enough lawyers, clerks, civil servants in the country to untangle it. So where can we get them from? Well, Europe. Oh, (laughs) the irony. I mean... It's quite Yes, yes, it is funny, isn't it? It is, yes. Yes, well, I'm glad you can see that. Yes, yes, it would be. Oh, If my cock wasn't on the block, Mm. surrounded by the world's media taking photographs Mm. while the sword of Damocles hangs over it and the red tops still want me to get a hard on. Well, there's a lot of phallic metaphors bouncing around there. Sorry to be directive, but are you still... Having my old Uh, collie wobbles in the down below department. mm. Don't be ridiculous, Stuart. I haven't got time to take a crap, let alone make Tabitha orgasm. Ah, have you tried masturbation? Whatever. No, no, now. What, in this room? No. Has anyone ever done that, by the way? Uh, one or two. Mm. I think it's a great way to relieve stress. Yes. Works for me. Stuart, mm. 
I'm partly responsible for the worst strategic decision this mm. country has made since Suez. I don't think a quick hand shandy is going to take the edge off. Right. Besides, I can't watch porn anymore as notifications keep popping up from number 10. I tell you what, there's no erection killer like it. There you are, pants down, old chap in hand, ready to watch some poor, you, well, you know, yes, when yes. a memo pops mm. up from number 10 saying, Custom union. Thoughts? Right. Well, masturbation and pornography are two separate things, well, really. not anymore, really, are No, they? not anymore. No, I suppose you're right. What with the internet and Instagram and Snapchat? What is Snapchat? Uh, uh, it's for young people, mm. I think. They, they send pictures of their genitalia to each other and then they vanish. What, their genitals? Uh, no, 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 the pictures. Oh, right. Yeah. Mm. Can't you switch off your notifications? Well, I may as well cut off my own head, Stuart. Right. If I go offline for more than ten minutes, mm. when I return, mm. my inbox is fuller than A&E on a Saturday night. It sounds like your work-life balance is out of kilter. Yeah, Julian Assange goes out more than me. Mm. I've eaten at my desk for five nights on the bounce. Bloody cup of soup. And then I get this email last night from D.C. Who's D.C.? Uh, the District of Columbia, you plank. Ah. I've got to go over at the end of the month to discuss a trade deal with the Easy Peel president. Well... Not the president, obviously. He's too busy planning the apocalypse. But, you know, one of his team. Can't you treat it as a holiday? Oh, yes. Yes, that's brilliant, Stuart, that one. Really good. Treat it as a holiday. Mm. No, I don't want to be lounging on my sunbed in our manoir in Bordeaux, sipping on a Merlot as the warm French sun bakes my pale English skin. Good God, no, no, no. Get me on a long-haul flight to Washington, where I can spend every hour on the hour discussing a trade deal that's never going to happen with a group of white supremacists, a reality TV star, and some gold-plated, triple-A, pat-tested, reason-raping, black-baiting, pussy-grabbing pricks. Isn't that kind of what you do here, though? Well, exactly my point, Stuart. The thing is... Oh, bugger me, it's the office. Remember, this is your own time now, so switch it off. You know, I can't seem to bloody switch it off. Let's swipe it. Swipe... I'm, I'm swipping and swiping, Stuart. Oh, for Christ's sake. Whatever happened to bloody buttons? Oh, my God. Come on, swipping and swiping. Uh, uh, right. Yes. Ooh. I've done it. I've done H it. Have you thought of breathing? Oh, balls on toast. It's off again. See, this is what I mean. They won't leave me alone. Throw it out the window. Throw it out of the window. What are you talking about? Bring back the bloody Blackberry. Uh, oh, no. <sighs> Doesn't help having sweaty palms, I can tell you. There's a little button at the top. What do you mean, button at the top? I'm trying to go for the button on the top. There, there if you... Uh, oh, I've done it. I've done it. I think, I, think, I think we're okay. There's a little button on the top, you see. That You just press that. And yes. Yeah. No, it's off. Oh, right. Okay. Mm. Sorry. Um, what, have what you, you thought about breathing, was my question. I'm sorry. Making yourself conscious of your own breathing, you see. Very, very useful to calm you down. Making myself conscious of my own breathing. Yes. The one thing I can do without thinking, Stuart, the one thing that does not require any conscious thought, and you want me to concentrate on it. I've got enough on my plate without having to worry about things I can actually do naturally. Well, it's been proven to work. It's been proven to work. Is it what breathing's been proven to work? Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Yes, I think that's fairly self-evident that it works, you weapon. Look at me doing all that breathing. I'm alive. Oh, and look at all that silly old John Lennon who forgot to keep breathing when he got shot in 1979. If only he could have known that if he'd just kept breathing, everything would have been I okay. I a slight note of cynicism. Slight! Oh. Look, I come here with anger management issues, and that was before a group of Vimto-drinking knuckle-draggers decided to collectively push us off a geopolitical cliff. And now I'm... Constantly furious. Oh, I haven't had a vimpto face. Stuart! Oh. Sorry. Well, let's reflect. Maybe you shouldn't have persuaded those people to do that in the first place. Am I actually paying you for this toot? I'm just asking you to reflect. Well, I'm doing you a favour. Because when people start losing their jobs and their businesses, and they will start losing their jobs and their businesses, you'll have a whole herd of new clients. The problem is they won't be able to afford me. True. Speaking of which, that's £185, please, if you could pay Polly on the way out. Stuart! Thanks. Oh,
there you go. Thanks for listening, everyone. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. For more of Dave Jackson's work, please visit www.dave-jackson.com or get in touch with Dave on Twitter at DAJ underscore Jackson. Until next time, goodbye. <laughs>